Now, comedic aspects. Maybe speak a little bit about, I think we've already okay. kind of touched on it, but the Herman wanted to score yeah. a comedy, and also what he said to Mr. Bernstein. Yes, uh, just the, uh, the... Much later. In it's life. often said that a com comedians want to play Hamlet, and here was Hamlet who wanted to be a comedian at least once in a while. Uh, Bernard Herman said that he was sorry he never got a really good comedy to score as a film, and in radio, he just did so many radio shows a week that he would write lightly comic music for poetry readings of Dorothy Parker by Lucille Ball, I remember in one program circa 1940, long before I Love Lucy. But he would write, you know, lightly comic music. Certainly Citizen Kane has a lot of whimsical music, Trouble with Harry does. Uh, but he said, the closest I came to a comedy score was North by Northwest. So he saw this as a chance to be not comic, perhaps, not comedic, but whimsical and have a lot of musical wit. And uh, and yet at heart, there was a reason people didn't hire Bernard Herrmann to score comedies because he was just really – he saw the world through a rather dark lens most of the time. And uh, Elmer Bernstein was a, a friend of his and uh, in, the, in 1974 – they, uh, Elmer Bernstein was visiting Benny in London, where Herman was living at the time, and Bernstein asked, have you seen Murder on the Orient Express? This was the original Sidney Lumet film with uh, Albert Finney and an all-star cast, and it had a score by Richard Rodney Bennett that has this kind of wonderful waltz when the train take, leaves, and it's all, the, the, the departure of the train is almost a musical number, and, uh, and, and the music became very popular at the time. And it's very tuneful and uh, almost this kind of art deco glamour celebrating the, the kind of lavish, long gone lifestyle of the 30s. And uh, so the music for that sequence in particular is is just very upbeat and delightful and rhapsodic. So her, uh, uh, Elmer Bernstein said, I really like that score. What did you think? And Herman said, I hated it. Really? Why? And he said, that was a train of death because a murder is going to happen on that train. <laughs> so uh. Herman, you know, he would have scored that. And it's, it's fascinating because, you know, who's to say who's right and who's wrong? If something works, it works. But he would have scored that scene saying, in 20 minutes, somebody's going to be dead, you know. <laughs> but uh, I, I really, I agree with Elmer Bernstein. I love the music for that sequence because the whole movie is... is is sort of a time in a way celebrating yeah. that almost Art Deco world we think of as the Astaire Rogers world, you know, that they recreate so nicely in that film. But anyway, so that just shows the kind of way Herman would approach a story. Well, in the case of something like Trouble with Harry or North by Northwest, he gets to have it both ways. He gets to write music that is extremely tense and suspenseful, but you know, particularly in the orchestration of of his main theme for the film, you know, the muted trumpets, the use of woodwinds, the call and response that I'm sure you'll talk all about. Mm -hmm. In the second half of this, he really has he, he really gets to to show that he has a, a wry sense of humor. For sure, absolutely.